Hey there, it's Robert with BudBells.com and for today's warm up, you're going to do um, a work up to a heavy Turkish get up practice. And so the recommend, recommended um, weights would be a light, a medium, and a heavy uh, Turkish get up weight, whatever you would consider a light weight, a medium weight, and a heavy weight, like something that you would, wouldn't normally do a Turkish get up or uh, it's so, so something that you want to work up to. So I'm gonna work with a lighter weight just to show you um, the, the steps for the church get-up. And um, so uh, I would work in the bottom portion of the church get-up and then the top portion of the church get-up and then put it all together, okay? So the bottom portion, so with the light weight, you're gonna work on uh, the initial drive off the floor, so it's a you're going to um, take your pubic bone and, and pull it towards your belly button to really engage your lower abs. Use some uh, push through your heel to use your glutes on the side that the knee is bent, and that's the initial the initial push. Right, it's going to get you to roll up this way. So I would work in this position. This is one of the you know starting out is the one of the hardest um, spots to uh, uh, to work on is the, the initial start, especially with the heavy weight. So I'd start you know just getting up to your forearm for a while, not using your head to to propel you up, but you want to lead with your sternum. So contract your low abs, drive yourself up, right? You do this a few times on each side. Okay, you can come up to your hand. Roll back down. Make sure you roll down slowly um, because the uh, the rolling down is is an absolute huge part of uh, the Turkish get up. If you just fall down, you're not working anything. You're just working on falling. So we're going to work on uh, slowly rolling back down to um, still engage all those muscles and work all those muscles. Right. So you can do that on each side with the small weight, the medium weight, and the heavy weight. Work into using one of your um, bigger, heavier, uh, pressing size weight, right? Um, and then work from the top. So snatch your lighter bell up. Um, so start with your light bell again and work on the coming down and going up from an overhead lunge position. So whatever arm's up, that opposite knee comes back. So my right arm's up, my left knee's gonna come back. Use most of the front leg to set yourself down. So you're, you're relying on this front leg, you're not relying on the, on the back leg. Pull your um, thigh into its socket, into the hip socket. Work in this position with the light, medium, and heavy weight. Do this. This is the, um, another part, and another really difficult part of the Turkish get up, right? Is the get up, get down from the overhead lunge position. Okay? All right, so that's your warm up. The workout, I'm just going to go right into the workout. You're going to do this for about 20 minutes or so, 15, 20 minutes. You're going to start out with a Turkish get up with a, a light to a medium sized weight. So um, your lighter and your medium sized weight, you can do this with. So you're going to come up from your Turkish get up. You're going to do 10 push presses. <clears throat> Using your legs to drive the weight. Do 10 and then come back down. You do that on each side, okay? <clears throat> Five one-legged deck squats. You can do this with or without weight. So all kinds of different ways you can do this deck squat. You can go down on one leg, come back up on two, go down on one, come back up on one, go down on two, come back on one. Just somehow you can do with some part of the deck squat you can do with one leg, okay? Uh, with or without weight. So I'll show you without the weight first. So one-legged deck squat, I'm going to use my hands. I'm going to show you how to use your hands and then show you how not to use your hands, right? So um, to use your hands, come down on one leg, come back up on one leg, drop down, roll back, use your hands, boom, come back up. Without your hands, you can throw them forward in front of you here, roll down on one leg, and then throw your hands out in front of you to come back up on one. All right, or you can use a weight. So I would do... Um, maybe come down on one leg and then back up on two with the weight. Coming back up on one um, with the weight is a, a little tricky. You, you can do it, but it, just be forewarned that it's, it's a tricky um, movement. So one, come down on one, 
back up on two, okay? So you're gonna do five on each side, five. This is as long as you, you know, uh, part of the movement on one leg, on five on each side, okay? So then you're gonna do opposite hand, opposite leg, V-ups. <clears throat> opposite arm, opposite leg, V-up, the other leg stays on the floor. Drive up with your sternum, not with your chin, okay? 10 on each side, and then five opposite hand leg, uh, plank, you're gonna lift, five on each side. So this workout's a good time to practice all of these movements. It's not, the object isn't to get as many rounds as you possibly can in whatever 15 or 20 minutes. The object is to really hone in your skill of Turkish get up um, with the push press, hone in that deck squat, you know, working on your pistol, of course. And then um, the, the via is real good abs to set you up for perfect practice on the opposite hand, opposite leg lift. All right, so there's your workout. Enjoy it, and we'll see you next time.